Kenyan security forces have launched an operation to end the bloody hostage drama at a shopping mall in Nairobi. 68 people have already been killed there since the crisis on Saturday. Somali gunmen say the hostage taking is a response to Kenya's intervention in Somalia and have threatened to kill the hostages. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad says Damascus will live up to its obligations under a deal between the U.S. and Russia on the country's chemical weapons. Assad says that's why he's not concerned about a Western-drafted U.N. Security Council resolution which would allow the use of force if Damascus fails to comply. An Egyptian court is to issue a verdict on the fate of the Muslim Brotherhood Society, which was founded earlier this year. Judicial authorities have recommended the dissolution of the NGO. The Muslim Brotherhood and people affiliated with it have been targeted since the overthrow of President Morsi. Iran's President Hassan Rouhani leaves for New York to attend the 68th United Nations General Assembly. The President will address the Assembly on Tuesday. Upon his departure, Rouhani said he will try to present the true image of the Iranian nation to the world. Two U.S.-led foreign soldiers have been killed in a bomb attack in eastern Afghanistan. NATO broke the news without mentioning the nationality of the slain soldiers. At least 131 foreign soldiers, mostly American, have died in Afghanistan so far this year. Russia's foreign minister accuses the U.S. of trying to blackmail Moscow into backing a military strike against Syria. Sergei Lavrov says Washington threatens to hinder the work of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons unless Moscow supports a U.N. Security Council resolution allowing the use of force against the Arab nation. Protests against Europe's largest gold mining project continue in Romania. Thousands have rallied in the capital Bucharest against the plan by a Canadian company. Protests aim to halt the project due to environmental worries. They also say hundreds of families would be forced to move if the plan were to go ahead. The German Chancellor Angela Merkel has won a third term in general elections. However, her conservative bloc has just fallen short of winning a majority and will be forced to form a coalition government. Merkel's bloc won about 42% of the votes against nearly 26% for the rival Social Democrats.